Jessica Knight Music Studio presents The Off The Road Show, a collection of songs and stories from off the beaten path. The artists featured in this month's show include Joseph and Benjamin Cottonzaro, Jack Lindy, Heidi Beddoes, Tracy Wilburn, and Les Jackson, Rachel Peterson, Louisa Peterson, the Nunez Hewlett family, Camille Brimhall, Doug Andrus, and Stephanie Iskander and David Ellsworth. Welcome to the Off the Road Show. Tonight, we will be sharing music and featuring musicians of all ages and abilities. So let's get started. Our first featured musicians are Stephanie Iskander and David Ellsworth. Stephanie and David have known each other for close to 50 years, but this is the first time they have played a duet together. They met up again after they both moved to Utah and coincidentally started playing with Jessica's Jammers at the Springville Senior Center. Stephanie has been playing hammer dulcimer for 30 years and is self-taught. She plays several string instruments, including auto harp, banjo, guitar, and mandolin. Dave has been playing and performing on the piano since childhood. He can play any style and has a great gift for improvising and accompanying vocalists and musicians of all types. They are playing The Lover's Waltz, which is a beautiful tune written by Jay Unger. Stephanie's husband, Bruce, was their videographer.
We have two fun features from the Peterson family. Rachel is 12 and a half and has been playing fiddle for half of her life. Louisa is 10 years old and has been playing the mandolin for almost five months. They are both very dedicated to practicing and one of their strategies is to practice in the morning. Rachel will be playing Irish washerwoman and Louisa will showcase the Arkansas Traveler. Both girls are accompanied by their dad, Jeff, on guitar. Jack Lindy is one of our favorite guitar players. He has such a great style of rhythm and soloing. His knowledge of the fretboard and music theory combined with his natural groove make his playing a joy to listen to. His oeuvre of songs and lyrics can captivate you for hours. Tonight, he is playing San Francisco Bay Blues. The blues the Bay, the San Francisco Bay. Off an ocean liner so far away Didn't need to treat her so bad She was the best gal I ever had Say goodbye Made me cry Wanna lay right down and die Ain't got a nickel Ain't got a lousy dime If she don't come back Think I'm gonna lose my mind to stay Shouldn't be another brand new day Walking with my baby By the San Francisco Bay Crazy about, she don't love me no more. Think I'll hop me a 
freight train just because I'm feeling blue. Right all the way, end of life, thinking of you. Meanwhile, living in the city, just about to go insane. Keep hearing my baby for the way she's come by me. If she ever comes back to stay, gonna be another brand new day. Walk with my baby down by the San Francisco Bay. Walk with my baby down by the San Francisco Bay. Our next featured artist is Tracy Wilburn on the cello. She will be accompanied by her husband Les Jackson on guitar. They are playing the peaceful song in the bleak midwinter, which inspired Tracy to compose a poem about the winter solstice. Tracy describes the song and her poetry, saying, While looking for light this dark year, I started learning about these traditions of bringing light in the shortest, darkest days. This song has always made me feel light in the dark. Converging light, don't she the longest night. Saint Lucia brings hope of light. Yalda refers Soya Luna as we look to the sun. My first string instrument was actually a tennis racket. When I was four years old, my best friend and I used to borrow her older brother's tennis rackets and we would go around town singing and strumming for people. I can remember like it was yesterday, standing on the steps of someone's trailer house, the grating of the stairs under my feet and the sun on the back of my legs. And he, we finished singing our song and he said, do you know any other songs? I said, no. This is the only one we do. And he said, what about Happy Birthday? And I said, no, we only play the star song. Doug Andrus is a fun musician to play with. He usually has a joke and a happy song. When asked how long he has played the banjo, his response is that he has owned a banjo for 50 years. Some of the other instruments he owns and plays are dobro, stump fiddle, and bucket bass. He and his wife Audrey play with Jessica's Jammers at the Springville Senior Center, and Doug is also the banjo player for the Hobble Creek Hobblers. The message Doug would like to share through his music is that playing music is fun and a relief from the cares of the world, and that it lifts his spirit. Playing with Doug is definitely fun, and his music friends would agree that it does lift their spirits. Tonight, Doug is playing an old-time barn dance tune called Saw and on the Strings. <laughs> Thank you. 
Katie Beddoes has been playing music for 31 years. She plays a lot of instruments, but her first instrument, and the one she is playing tonight, is mandolin. Heidi says that when she was six years old, playing mandolin seemed like the most obvious next life choice, but her mom made her wait until she was seven. Waiting that one year has not held her back from being the amazing musician she is. She has chosen to play Blue Moon of Kentucky because she wanted to play a song by Bill Monroe. Our next feature is another duet. The Cottonzaros are brothers, Joseph on banjo and Benjamin on cello. They have been playing music for one year. You can tell that they put a lot of time and work into their playing to do such a great job in such a short time. Banjo and cello are not instruments that are usually played together, which gives them a unique sound. Because there is not a lot of music arranged for these two instruments specifically, they have been discovering many creative ideas as they collaborate their music. Old Lang Syne is the song they are playing tonight, which is perfect for welcoming in our new year. <laughs> Want to be featured in our next show? Head over to our website, jessicanightmusicstudio.com, to get started. 
Here you can read all of the details, upload your video to our Dropbox link, and fill out important information. Anyone is welcome to submit a video, but please keep all songs family friendly as we do have some younger viewers. Videos are due by the 5th of the month. Any videos received after the deadline will be featured in the following month's show. If you have any questions, please email us at jessicanightmusicstudio at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing your videos. Camille Brimhall is a singer-songwriter who was born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. She began playing piano as a child, followed by the ukulele. As an adult, she has learned to play many other instruments, including guitar, electric bass, and banjo. She has been teaching music lessons for several years and says it is one of the greatest joys in life. She will be featuring a song she wrote titled Forgiveness and will be joined by Steve Booth. Camille writes, we come into this world as imperfect beings. We all make mistakes. We need to forgive others of their wrongdoings. We have the ability to change, becoming better. When we work together, we can overcome and make the world a better place. With God, nothing is impossible. And I don't understand The roads I take The dreams I make Seem to crumble in my hand Too ashamed to admit my guilt I protect my heart With the walls I build Too proud to get down on my knees Proud to ask for forgiveness. I am no angel. These wings don't fly straight, but a voice inside stronger than my pride tells me it's never too late. He hears my silent prayer. quiet place God heals me with his grace his love covers all when I'm wrong he will catch my fall and from my quiet place I can almost see his face inside stronger than my pride tells me it's never too late too ashamed to admit my guilt I protect my heart with the walls I built too proud to get down on my knees too proud to ask your forgiveness please We are so grateful to those who have participated in our show and for those of you watching. For our final performance tonight, we are excited to feature a cute little band from the Nunez Hewlett family, Alex, Bianca, and Daphne with their parents Carolina and Kendall. Music is a big part of their family life. Everyone plays multiple instruments and at almost any given time you will hear some piano and Bianca singing in their house. The most exciting thing that is happening in their family this week is that Phoebe is celebrating her first birthday. 
Happy birthday, Phoebe. Here they are, performing Stand By Me. While going down life's weary road, I'll try to lift some traveler's load. I'll try to turn the night to day, make flowers bloom along the way. From all of us, thank you for watching. We hope to see you off the road.